Listo, lo único que tiene que ver es I know it was real. I... I... I send you what I saw. You decide. Greetings, Remsonopolis. Today is June 27th, 2044. We have a very important podcast that is going to feature information on Calandria. She is quickly becoming the most important aspect of the local law enforcement and the mayor's agenda. We also have to talk about today the cultural phenomenon of Calandria's possessions over our citizens. Our first guest is from the Red Bank District, and she claims that her son has already been possessed by Calandria. Thank you for being with us today, Ms. Velasky. It's Ms. Velasky. Oh, I'm sorry. Sean's father left after after he changed. Okay, and that's what I wanted to talk about today. How do you believe that your son changed? Well, we were very happy for him at first because he was always kind of shy mm -hmm. and he really didn't have that many friends. So we were happy that he was giving out uh -huh. more. Okay, um, and then what, what happened to him? What changed? Well, we started seeing less and less of him. He wouldn't come around. He, he, he just stopped laughing. He stopped being himself. And do you know where he was going? No. We, I, I asked him, oh, like, I followed him once. I asked him a dozen times, but he wouldn't tell us where he was going. And he never said anything to you? He's, he said that he had new friends. He said that, that she wouldn't like this, that she wouldn't like that. She? Uh, could that mean a girlfriend? It wasn't like a girlfriend. It was like... It was like he was being enslaved. Enslaved. All right. And then what happened? Where, where is he now? And then his eyes. His eyes. Um, okay, Ms. Velasquez, would you mind uh, plugging this in right there? I'm going to download this picture. Um, uh, yes. Um, yeah, it looks like the, uh, the dark eyes seem to be a direct indication of possession by Calandria. Um, Are you are you all right to continue? Yes. Okay, because it um it looks like we have a a caller. Would you like to answer any questions? Because you don't have to. Yes. Okay. Caller, you're on the podcast with George Ann Romero. Um, caller, I am here. Uh, oh, this is okay. Andrea. Um, I'm sorry, caller. Oh, what did you say? I am Calandria. Do not try to track this call, Miss Romero. Um, okay, Calandria. And uh, why are you calling today? Because this woman, D, is a liar. I, I cannot allow her to talk about me or her son. He is a good man and an asset to me. I am not alive. You are, you're a monster. Just please give me my son back. I did not take him. That is why I've called. No one, not a single one of my people, have been forced or possessed by me. Except those who have attacked me, of course. They deserved it. They were a threat, and I defended myself. Calandria, um, what is your intention? Why are you taking these people to control? Control Nothing what? more. Control. Could you control what? This city. Your lives. Your freedoms. Well, those are things we're going to be very reluctant to give up. 
That is why I need my followers. That is why I need your son. Please, just give me my son back. He left you and came to me. His father was a monster, not me. His father is a good man. No, he hit Sean, and you let him. That is not true. That is a lie. Sean, is that true? It is true. Sean! Sean, tell your mother that that is true. It is true, mother. Sean, is that, is that you? Is that really you? Yes. Tell me, are you okay? Tell your mother she's a liar. You're a liar, Mom. I'm fine where I should be. You are a liar. I have no time for liars. I am not a liar. She is a monster. Miss Romero, we will talk again when I wish it. Um, Romsonopolis. She is, she is lying. She would never do this. She would never do this. Romsonopolis, it looks like for the first time we actually have made contact with the crime lord Calandria herself. Her words, her, her words are terrifying. She seems to just seek control, control of the city, and has no interest in the welfare of any of our citizens, except those poor souls that she now controls. This is George N. Romero, signing off. Be safe from Sinopolis.